everybody, welcome to my channel, Tracy Reed Designs. In today's video, I will be showing you how I get well-defined lines in my ring pours. I have a few simple steps that I use that I will talk to you about at the end of the video. So for now, let me show you. so the painting is all dry and you can see my nice defined lines so these are my ring pour tips to get those defined lines the first one is choose your colors you want to make sure that you have light colors and dark colors so they contrast each other uh, the second would be um, the paint consistency of those colors you want it to be a little bit thicker um, I know generally when you're doing other techniques, your paint's a little bit thinner. So this paint, it will make a big difference if you have a little bit of thicker paint. Uh, the next step that I uh, use is to make sure that I layer the paints in the cup correctly. Now, when I say correctly for me, I mean, I pour my paints down the side. I do not pour the paint in the middle of the cup because what that does for me is it dirties it up a bit. So you want your paints to kind of stay separated as much as possible. Um, and then the next one, when you get your paints in the cup and you go to dump to pour them on your canvas, you wanna pour slowly in steady circles. You wanna try to be consistent with your circles. You will definitely start to see as the paint spreads out that you will start having those lines. Once you get all your paint poured from the cup, it's time to tilt. Now, I know a lot of people have issues with tilting. I did also in the very beginning. You know, you just get all excited and you just start tilting and it goes and it sometimes just causes a jagged mess. So once you start tilting around, you kind of get a feel of the way that the lines are going. So don't over tilt. Just Start going one way, let it go over the edge, go back the other. And then if you have to leave negative space, leave some negative space. That's okay. If you over tilt though, you'll have jaggedy lines. Your lines will start to muddy, mix in with each other. So probably the best thing is less tilting. And again, negative space is okay. I still need to be reminded. Sometimes my husband will yell at me negative space, negative space. So that's okay too. You can have a nice painting with the, with the nice defined lines without over tilting and a little negative space as well. So hopefully you guys liked my ring pour tips for defined lines. I would appreciate if you got anything out of this video to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. Um, also, don't forget to click the bell so you will be notified of all my videos. And if you've done any ring pour um, paintings, 
I would love for you to post them on my Facebook page, Acrylic Pouring with Friends, so you can share them with everybody. And um, I hope that you did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.